telling if I'm safe uh, Bad girl, she's a red bones She ain't trying to let me have What is good YouTube, it's your boy Zay Pole here Back with another video Making it look good, making it look easy Too easy Today guys, welcome to the first episode of Sketching with Zay. Welcome to this series. I hope you guys enjoyed the intro. I made that uh, with my own drawing, so I just made a little, like, you know, intro video. Uh, just to start us off with this new series, you know. And I think it came out pretty good. I hope you guys enjoy that. So, although today I'm not going to be sketching for you guys, I'm going to be doing something else, but this, this series is basically uh, going to be a series where I sketch um, things either requested or just because I feel like sketching it and then uh, I talk about a topic in the background While you guys watch me sketch whatever I'm sketching. I'm actually going to be doing a sketchbook tour So I'm going to be showing you all the things I've drawn from probably like 2014 up until this point uh, I don't sketch a lot. I probably have like four or five sketchbooks uh, Max and they're probably not even full because I really am not the, the sketching type But I really do want to get into that and that's what I'm gonna be doing and that's what this series is about Those of you who are new to the channel definitely hit the subscribe button right now uh, If you like this video like the video and comment if you feel so inclined I'm gonna get this video started so I will see you guys in two seconds Alright YouTube, so I'm going to be doing these sketches in order from oldest to newest. I have books and then I have loose papers that I've sketched on and I thought came out pretty good that I thought I'd show you guys. So these go back as far as 2014, I know that for sure. So this is number one. This is one of my first ones, you can see how many pages are in it because I used to hate messing up so I just ripped the pages out. So let's see what's inside this one. First picture. This is a picture of Ariana Grande. I did my best. This is 2014, mind you. This is, I know this is 2014 because that's my that's my oldest drawings. But that's my first one. It's pretty. It's okay. I like it. A second picture. But uh, um, this is supposed to be a picture of Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, looks kind of. Eh. It's alright. It's alright. So I was really into portraits at this time. Like I wanted to draw people. This is a more detailed version. It's the picture, the Dread Doctors that I did. If you don't know what that is, it's it's three characters from Teen Wolf. I used to be really into Teen Wolf when I was younger. So a cartoon picture of Gravity Falls kids, and this is done later in my sketchbook history. I was really into Gravity Falls as well. Yeah, that's the whole sketchbook. See, like that's what I mean. Like I don't fill in all my sketchbooks. It's usually just doodles and like. You know, just putting random shit in there. I did see a video of a sketchbook tour where a guy had like every single page done, like probably over 10,000 sketches. And I do want to get to a place where I have that, where I can fill a whole book from front to back and just have like cool shit to show you guys. Second, second sketchbook's pretty small. This is a picture of a nerd I did. And this is, his face is made with my mom's makeup. Uh, I think I had found one of her like makeup palettes or whatever you call them. I'm not really sure what they're called, but um, I just took the powder from inside there and just slapped it on, his, on the... So this is one of them. I'm not sure who he is. He's smoking a sick fat one. My next two ones are actually pretty okay. They're pretty decent. It's when I started using more color and, and moved away from just using pencil. I actually had this sketchbook when I was uh, over visiting my dad in Korea, so I did this. All these pictures that you see in here while I was over there. So this is a Bulls character, and I actually like this part in like the video because this is when I really switched over to color, and ever since then I've been really crazy and vibrant with all my colors and everything that I that I, that I draw or, or post anywhere. This is where it started. He got me, my dad got me these markers from uh, one of the stores over there, and it was full of mad stuff. I don't know why I chose these markers, but they actually worked really good, and I wanted to just them to make as, as much cool stuff as I can. The only thing with this is uh, it's really streaky, so I had to really just do line by line by line every time I was filling in the background or the face pattern. But yeah, it's a Bulls character. It was Batman versus Superman, and 
this was inspired by the movie that just had came out, like literally probably around the same time I went over there. And I like this drawing a lot. I posted this on my Instagram. It's really clean the way it looks, the comic effects. I think it just looks really good. Uh, as you can see, you go full, like really close and if I can get that. You can see like the bars where I had to like, I didn't have that many like colors in the pack to make skin tone with. So I had to mix colors and also use the lines to create like, just the illusion of a skin color. I can't remember what video game it was, but I had seen the video game cover and I did like a little remake of it. And that's what it looks like. I just not finished it. Uh, I'm, I used to be really into watching Naruto like all the time and then once Netflix, the, the Netflix series ended, I didn't know how to watch Shippuden at the time, probably like a month ago. I found all the, the episodes free on, online so I started watching it again so Naruto is the GOAT, like that show is the, the GOAT. You can see Sasuke in the background and then you have the nine tail cloak over here. There's a lot more cool things in this sketchbook, that's why I like it. And this is towards like when I was starting to get a little older. Uh, this is a tattoo I was supposed to make for somebody. They never, like they, they asked me to make it, they just never bought it off me, so I just made it for no reason. But um, look now I have something to show you guys. This is a picture uh, I made a while ago. But it's supposed to be a, a gypsy showing like looking into a crystal ball and then the person over here is who she's reading, so you can just look at that if it focuses. This is when I started really getting into shading and the darkest darks, and I started realizing that for me, I can't, I don't like using graphite for, for like shading because you can only go so dark with graphite, and even then, uh, it looked kind of gray. Because I used to not have like the different, um, types of pencils I never used to have like HB or 2H or 4H or 2B like I didn't have all that so I just had like a number two pencil and I just try to shade as best I can. I knew about it but like I was I wasn't really into using a whole bunch of different pencils just to get a color the colors right. So as I started doing it I said I was like okay maybe I'll use like a sharpie or like a black pen to get the darkest darkest values that I wanted. Get the darkest values Mr. Krabs, this is just a funny little sketch I did, and then I have Spongebob on the other side. Oh. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this sketchbook after that, it's just cardboard. I think there are a lot more sketches in this one, and I like this one for that reason. So just look forward to more things like that in my future sketchbook videos. This is the most recent sketchbook I have. Uh, this is actually tanned, tanned paper, or toned tanned paper. And I used, I started using that because I had seen videos on YouTube where you can get really nice um, colors from the tan paper. A picture of Chance the Rapper. And I did this literally so fast. It was, all, I was in the car and I was looking at my phone. I was just drawing as I did it. This is colored pencil and Sharpie. And I tried out a new signature at the bottom. It's not my regular signature. Oh, I have the intro to this video in there because I just made that for for this series. So let me know if you think that looks like me. I shaved my beard and my mustache off, but he still has it. So now let's move on to the loose papers that I have just in my sketchbooks tucked in there. Uh, not too many of these, but they, they are pretty cool, some of them. So you can tell this is old because this is the old logo the way it used to look back, way back when. So I'm a farmer. Uh, this is when I was working with portraits again still. This is back when I, the same, I did this around the same time I did the Ariana Grande picture. It's the same exact uh, paper from the old sketchbook it just got, it just ripped out. Came out really well. Uh, to this day, like I still get compliments on this one when I show people. Um, it's a girl, hopefully you guys can see that well. She has big hair and fire picture. Oh. This one actually has a date on it, yeah. 3 27 14, so March 27 14. Did Kevin Hart. Eh. I'm not, I wasn't that good at portraits back then, but I think it still looks like him a little bit. This is a picture I did when I was in high school, actually. And this has all my family's zodiac signs in it. Uh, Aquarius for my mom, uh, Gemini. 
for somebody. And then uh, Taurus for my dad. Then Pisces for me. This is back when I was over, like, over here in high school, just fiending for chicks and shit. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Is a cartoon version of the Dread Doctors, or a Dread Doctor from uh, Teen Wolf. Uh, I have this crazy lady that I never finished, but I like the expression on this. It looks pretty cool. That drawing. I thought that came out nice. The backwards five in the eye. Another reference to Team Wolf. Like a little sketch version of me, basically. Way back. I always do that shit. Last one. This is a picture of Roman Rain I did for like class with charcoal, and I never used charcoal. It was my first time using charcoal. The little sticks, too. Like, it was annoying. That is all my sketches for my life. And that's kind of sad because that's... Oh, neat. Yeah, so those are my sketchbooks from the time I was younger all the way till now. Not many sketchbooks I know. Uh, that's why I'm going to make this goal of doing like at least a hundred. Nah, let me stop. It's not even that much. The goal is to do a lot more sketching. That's the goal. So I'm going to try and fill up a whole sketchbook and go like go do it like an extensive or like a two or three part video where I just go through all of them uh, from beginning to end and show you guys ideas if you want me to sketch I'm definitely gonna be fil filming myself on this on this series uh, sketching so if you have any ideas that you or any uh, people that you want me to sketch and record myself doing it just let me know in the comment section I'll definitely do that if you haven't watched my last portfolio video go check that out I'm making a new channel called Zay's channel. That should be up within, it's already up, but like I have to post my first video. So that should be up in like a day or two. So yeah, that's all I got planned for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that video uh, and, sh and all my sketches so far. There's gonna be a lot more to come. But um, yeah, once again, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We love new subscribers. I'll see you guys next time on Zay Parlay. Or Catching Wednesday parlay. Peace.